Here we are seeing three structures. Number one, the liver, the kidney, it's a maze, uh, ultrasound, uh, eight, 80 plus, and uh, here you are seeing the, uh, the mid-region parenchyma, upper pole parenchyma, upper pole parenchyma, measures approximately 19 millimeters is within normal. Echogenicity is normal, and this is the diaphragm, no fluid seen above the diaphragm, and there is mild dilation of the calluses, as you can see over here. Now, having said that, uh, there is, uh, this is the, this is the proximal ureter that measures approximately seven, and it's with a normal. Uh, the upper bowl and the mid region are being perfused normally. Month are being perfused normally and the patient is unable to hold the breath so I may not be able to get a proper uh, RI. We'll try though. Saro Glavo. I will try but as he, the patient is unable to hold his uh, breath will can face difficulty. So anyways, the uh, perfusion is normal, that of the upper and mid region, mild dilation of the calluses, otherwise the upper and uh, mid region of the uh, right kidney is normal, it's gliding over the agisobus muscle and uh, the liver is seen normal. The, now, if you see, there is a large complex mass or a heterogeneous mass relating to the lower pole of the right kidney with calcification. Now, see this is the upper pole, this, this is the right kidney upper pole and this is the mass with the solid and cystic areas. Here we are. It's vascular. Here you see it's vascular. Moreover, we see internal cystic areas of degeneration and necrosis along with the uh, uh, solid elements within it. It uh, expands the lower pole of the liver and this mass has an echogenicity that is uh, almost equal to that of the uh, adjacent uh, kidney. Papaji Udar. Rather it is slightly more than the adjacent kidney, uh, normal kidney parenchyma. Now this is the part of the normal kidney. This one, normal kidney. And this is the mass. And uh, mass measures approximately eight point five into eight point four centimeter. Another thing to note is it ele it elevates and or expands the upper pole of the uh, lower pole of the kidney and the periprostatic fat line uh, is intact the caps this and it is sharing the capsule of the kidney. This is the capsule of the kidney and here it is seen being elevated. Here you see the mass and the kidney together on the left side. Now, when we move towards the left side, now this is the, uh, first of all I will show you the supreme. This is the supreme, this, this is supreme. And this is the hilar region where we see uh, the upper pole of the uh, left kidney. Now if you see that the upper pole of the left, uh, left kidney shows thinned out parenchyma. This is the parenchyma and uh, the measurable, uh, it measures approximately 
8.2 millimeters only. Another thing is that uh, the calluses, these are the calluses, these are dilated <coughs> moderate to moderate to massively, massive dilation with thinned out parenchyma, that of the upper pole of the right kidney, uh, sorry, left kidney. And this is the mass that relates to the mid and upper, uh, the mid and lower pole of the uh, left kidney. It's also vascular. Here you can see. It's vascular. It's expanding the upper lower pole and uh, the blood supply, little bit of the blood supply can be seen uh, to the remaining parenchyma, uh, parenchymal cortex, corticometallic differentiation is lost, that of the upper pole, but you see a little bit of blood supply is there. Uh, which is keeping him going on. So this is a vascular mass, again expanding the up, uh, low pole of the left kidney with multiple internal cystic areas. Now these cystic areas, if you see, have echoes within them. This is a cystic area with echoes within it and it is uh, suggestive of necrosis or degeneration or internal hemorrhage, it's heterogeneous in appearance. This is the, dial these are the dilated upper pole calluses which are dilated more, more massively. So this is the upper pole, here you see this is the diaphragm, no fluid seen above the diaphragm. This is the, this white line is the diaphragm, this is the spleen, this is the upper pole, and this is the mid region and the lower pole of the, this uh, complex cystic and solid equidinous mass that measures approximately. Thirteen point two into eight point four centimeter it expands the uh, upper pole of the uh, kidney here you see it expands the upper pole of the kidney. Periprostatic fat line is intact though, shares the capsule of the kidney and uh, this is the transfer section. These are the hyalur vessels, hyalur region vessels. The prostate, the urinary bladder is normal. There are no paraortic lymph nodes, liver is spared. There is no evidence of pancreatic involvement. This is the pancreas, this area, white band is the pancreas. <coughs> now does it extend the uh, midline, the mass extends the midline as you can see that this particular area is uh, suggestive of, this is a portion of the mass which is extending the midline, this is the aorta in magnified view, so this uh, is expanding. Now. What about the IVC? Because this, uh, if uh, if this is a renal cell carcinoma, they extend toward or renal masses usually of uh, of malignant nature, usually extend uh, through IVC. So we should see the IVC, and uh, here is the IVC. Uh, here we are, and you can see a clot within the IVC, this is IVC, this is the clot, 
ਪਾਸਾ ਲਿਆ ਜੀ ਉਹ ਪਾਸਾ ਲਿਆ ਜੀ ਉਹ ਹਾਂਜੀ Now if you see that this is a clot this is the IVC excuse me this is the IVC as you can see and you can see that uh, there is a hypogenic area linear area this one extending from this uh, most proximal region of the IVC weighing approximately 8.6 cm in length and 21.1 uh, cm in width and then you will see it's it enters the heart the right atrium yeah you see this area this is the clot this is the ivc this is the clot in the ivc this is the portal vein liver and this is the right atrium you can see the clot extending from the ivc into the region of the right atrium so this is a case of bilateral high renal uh, masses which are consistent with uh, being of a malignant nature most probably renal cell carcinomas and where the, uh, the with mass effect on the adjacent normal uh, uh, renal uh, renal parenchyma and thinned out parenchyma that of the left kidney because of the mass effect from the uh, mass whereas this is the IVC filled with clot not almost filled it is, uh, this is a clot within the IVC extending into the right atrium uh, yeah, then now this portion is within the uh, this one this portion is within the heart you can see the movement this is the heart this is the transfer section this is the transfer section where this is the uh, aorta this is the ivc this one and this is the clot within the ivc and here is the reason for that a mass relating to the right kidney as well as the left kidney so this is you see the that this is again at the clot in another view within the ivc so this is our case of the day consisting of uh, two aggressive nature masses and uh, clot in ivc that extends from the dilated ivc within the right atrium thank you very much